teacher demonstration hubs as a path to having more fun. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 339. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit Organization. This is Weekly Progress Update number 339, September 22nd, 2019 edition. One Community's goal, if you're not familiar with it, is to bring together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet and to build sustainable and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And every week I like to talk about a topic, and this week's topic is actually a redo of a topic I did a couple weeks ago, because Jack Reed, very good friend and friend of the project and author of The Next Evolution, A Blueprint for Transforming the Planet, which I highly recommend, uh, wrote to us after the, I wrote to me after the one that we did a couple weeks ago about having more fun, and he said, hey, I think you've been working on this so long that you might have forgot what the real juiciness and fun looks like, and here's what I think you should have talked about. And I read that and I was like, yes, I agree. I have lost focus. I've been working on the grind of building the tools, tutorials, and blueprints, and all the do-it-yourself instructions for everything necessary to build one community for so long. that It appears that I have forgotten about the fun aspects of it that got me so excited about this, one of the many aspects that got me so excited about this project in the first place. And so today I want to talk about teacher demonstration hubs as a path to having more fun as a redo of what I talked about a couple weeks ago and just get a little bit more into the details. Everything I said there was true, but I kind of missed the really juiciness, the real awesomeness, the real amazing aspect of being able to bring together people with common vision, common goals, and being able to live within community, to be able to share the experience of creating something amazing and to share the recreational opportunities that are available when you build a place like One Community. When you build an environment that has everything that people need with that, within reach, within walking distance, at their fingertips, and groups of people, like-minded people, available that might want to participate as well. And so social architecture is built into the structure of one community, but what it's really about is having people around you. So if you want to play a pickup game of soccer or basketball or baseball or football and not just sports maybe you want to play a game of cards or maybe you want to play a role-playing game or maybe you want to play computer games in a room where everybody's networked instead of uh, across the country or in different houses where you actually can look people in the eye and talk to them as you're doing things uh, or maybe you want to go on a scavenger hunt with a group of kids or do an Easter egg hunt but rather than having to travel somewhere else to do it all the kids are right there and you plan it as a group of parents in your backyard, which is a huge open environment of nature. All of these things within walking distance, all of these people within walking distance, bringing them together. It's not just about games or exercise, and of course exercise as well. You could do yoga is built into our model. Regular exercise is built into our model. You could have a running group. You could have a walking group. You could have a nature hype group, all within walking distance. All these people and within walking distance, easily cooperating, collaborating to bring these things together to do these things that you may enjoy doing. And not just exercise, not just games, but also theater or nature immersion or personal growth, maybe a book club or maybe a movie club, or maybe you wanna learn a foreign language, or maybe you want to get together and do an educational group on anything, sexuality and sensuality. Perhaps you wanna explore literature, perhaps you wanna explore poetry. You know, maybe you wanna do a karaoke group, maybe you wanna to put, put together a dance you know, or a social or a recreational gathering of some sort, maybe some sort. Maybe you want to put together a an elaborate birthday party or a bar mitzvah or whatever it may be. You know, the idea is that within community where people are cooperating and collaborating, the ability to bring people together and do something that is very, very difficult in spread out environments like major metropolitan areas and even more difficult in rural areas, it becomes very easy within community. So teacher demonstration hubs is a path to having more fun is building everything that you see happening in the background of the video right now and creating these communities that are walk-in communities where everything that you need is within walking distance and the people and resources necessary are all shared. Same thing with something like music. If you want to learn music, rather than having to own all your own instruments, we can share those things. If you want to learn something like pottery or woodworking 
or masonry or tile work or whatever any all of those things also can be shared experiences with all of the tools and resources necessary to be able to have those experiences shared so that you don't have to own them yourself implementing a resource-based economy where all the objects or all the items all the tools and resources that people might not need as an individual thing can just be shared you can just check those out of a tool library or check those out of a game library or check those out from a book li just like a book library where you go and you say hey I need to borrow a vacuum cleaner and then you use the vacuum cleaner and then you return it and if the vacuum cleaner breaks down the community allocates resources to buy another very high quality version of that vacuum cleaner so we don't have to have cheap versions of everything we can have high quality versions of everything so when we're playing basketball or football or volleyball or soccer or we're playing a game or we are doing a karaoke night you have the best stereo system you have the best equipment you have quality things that you're using and they're all owned by the community and taken care of by the community and maintained by the community so that they're always high quality this is our idea of teacher demonstration hubs as a path to having more fun is creating collaborative and cooperative environments that work on the social and recreational aspects of living that are most enjoyable for all of us and the ones that I named may not include what you're thinking of Whatever it is that you're thinking of, our community model is designed so that social architecture is built within it. And other people may do it completely different, but the idea with one community is that anything that has a large enough percentage of the community interested in it and that is open source and free shared so that visitors can participate as well is considered community contribution for the social architecture aspect. And everybody is, is invited to participate with five hours a week contributing to that. Now imagine what that looks like with 50 people contributing five hours a week to that social architecture and their own genius, and their own ideas that may be way better than everything that I just named, saying, hey, I'd like to do this. And one of the interesting things that we as a group have talked about is answering the question of when you have more time than you've ever had and money and access is no longer a barrier to participation, how will people choose to spend their time? Because one community is going to answer that question. It's going to provide an environment where money and access is no longer a barrier because everything is within walking distance and everything is free. And the diversity that will be offered by people participating is greater than even in a major metropolitan area. Plus, you don't have to drive to it. Plus, you don't have to pay for it. So then the question becomes like, wait, when I have more weight, when I have more free time than I've ever had to be able to participate in these activities, and they're all within walking distance, which makes it so much easier, and everybody that I would want to participate with them is also living right within that environment, how do I choose to spend my time? And we don't know. Only time will tell. And so we're going to build one community and we're going to find out. And everybody's uh, invited to participate, if not as a member, as a visitor, to come and experience what it is that we're doing, to share in the social and recreational aspects of one community, and to see what teacher demonstration hubs as a path to having more fun are capable of. Because if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as, as attractive enough, then this idea will spread its own. And having more fun is a big part of the attractive enough aspect of it. Because if people aren't having more fun, why are we doing that? And so the whole environment is designed to be as fun as we can collectively and collaboratively and cooperatively imagine and create together. And the objective reality of that is it's easier to do as a group than it is as an individual. And so that is what we are creating. So with that said, thanks for watching our video and feel free to check out the written blog if you'd like more details and specifics on everything that we've done in this last week and until next week we will of course keep on keeping on thank you the one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable sustainable do-it-yourself duplicable resource and space efficient and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models One Community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One Community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, 
part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is High's Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to High's Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.